All right, guys, let's start adding some knobs and gauges to this uh, interior. So let's select this surface and create a sketch. And I want to use the circle diameter circle tool to create uh, one of the knobs I see on the reference. It's about this size, and I'm going to just press pull this profile just about here. I'm going to hit OK, and now I'm going to select this surface and create another sketch. And what I want to do is create another uh, circle just a bit smaller than the original profile. So that looks OK. We're going to press pull this um, out a bit, and let's pull it to something around here. Leave it on join and hit OK. And I'm going to hit F to go into fillet mode. I'm going to round this off to a dramatic roundness. And that looks fine. And let's enter fillet mode since we're already here. We might as well just round this uh, bottom area off as well. That looks okay. Now I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can capture that detail. Now let's go to the body and the layers and uh, duplicate that. I'm going to slide this over here. Give it some nice spacing. And now I'm going to select this surface once again and start creating the gauge. So I'm going to go to Create Sketch, use that circle down in a circle. And right between these two is a giant, uh, I think it's a speedometer, that's what it looks like. And let's just move this. So select the center and we can drag this arrow along. And that looks good. Now we can press pull this profile. We're just going to pull it out to about here. Uh, ensure it's on new body and hit OK. Now we're going to select this surface and create a sketch. And we're going to use that circle diameter circle tool to create a smaller circle inside like we did earlier. And now we can finish sketch. And what I want to do now is go to create pipe. And I'm going to select this ring here. And let's make this a lot thicker. So we're going to pull this out. And change the operation from cut to join. Let's hit OK. And let's hit F to go into fillet mode. And I want to smooth out this edge here. Because the reference looks like it's a lot smoother. So now what we're going to do is select this and pull this out to make it a lot bigger. So OK. Let's hit F to go into fillet mode. We're going to select this edge and round this off just slightly. I don't want it too harsh. Now on this area, let's collect this. Let's select the surface and create a sketch. And what I'll now do is select the profile and press pull it inwards to create a small cut. And let's go to the layer and let's just uh, select the body and duplicate that. And let's move it to the left a bit. Let's hit OK. And let's go to modify scale. And I want to scale this down. And this will later be some of the other gauges because we're going to duplicate this. We can make it a bit smaller than this. Not too small though. I said OK. Now we can left click on that body and let's just reposition this. So let's move it up. And also uh, I want to go to the side view just to ensure that this is touching the back surface because when we uniformly scale, it scales in all directions. So that means that it's not going to be touching the wall anymore. Now let's go to the layer of that body and duplicate that. And we'll just slide this over to the right. And that looks perfect. Now let's uh, control V once again and duplicate this. And we need one for the bottom here, right between the small and bigger one. And we'll copy this one that we just created. So control C, control V, and we just slide to the right. So there'll be, uh, so there's four symmetrical uh, small gauges. Now let's select this surface again and create another sketch. Now I'm going to start doing some variation with the different knobs. So we'll use the circle diameter circle tool once again. And we'll just create a smaller circle. So something around here. And let's select this surface and press pull this outwards. And that looks okay. Now we can select that surface once again and create a sketch. And let's use our circle diameter circle from the center point and just drag outwards to create it bigger than their actual profile. Now we'll just select these two and press pull this. And this will act as a knob of some sort. So ensure that's on join. And let's hit uh, F to go into fillet mode. And we're just going to round this off a bit. We don't want it too round, but just uh, enough to give it something to uh, look more realistic. Now let's use create pipe. And we'll create a pipe on this. 
inside uh, ring here. Set that from join to cut just to give it some variation within itself. And let's hit this uh, drop down and let's just duplicate these, uh, the knobs we just created. So I'll control C, control V, and I'll just slide it to the left because it's empty on this side. So we'll select both of these bodies and control C, control V to duplicate them both at the same time. And I'll just grab one of these bodies and just duplicate it. And what I want to do is just slide one over to the right side over here by the dashboard. And I'm going to scale this up after uh, we position this. So let's go to modify scale. And let's select our object. And let's make this a bit bigger. So it looks uh, a bit more various. Now let's select this and we'll reposition it. Let's move it up a bit higher. Like I said, guys, it's great to have reference and you need a ton of it, definitely for this interior. So let's reselect our console and create a sketch. And we can start using that circle tool to create some micro details like bolts and uh, embossing. So let's create a small circular uh, profile and let's press pull this. Let's pull it out. Nothing major, something like that. And let's hit F to go into fillet mode and we're just going to round off this edge so it looks like the bottom of a bowl. Nice and round. And let's reposition this before we start duplicating it. So let's left click and go to move. And let's reposition this. That looks okay. Now we're going to duplicate it. So control C, control V. And let's slide it to the right. And let's uh, grab both of these and duplicate them both. And let's drag them both down. Now we'll control V and drag them up. We'll copy these two at the top and paste them to slide to the right. Now we'll grab these four and duplicate those and drag those to the right. Hopefully you guys are keeping up and I'm not losing you guys just yet. Now let's control V to duplicate those four again and slide them to the left for some breakup. Now let's combine these. So let's go to combine, select our main body, and let's select all these pieces that we just created inside except for the steering wheel. So let's just figure out which ones those are. And that looks like all of them. Make sure it's on join and hit OK. Now let's go to the create drop down and select pipe. And for the edge, we'll select this edge right above the console. And we're going to be cutting this out so it creates a nice little concave section that you'll see in the render. Make sure it's on cut. And let's rescale this a bit smaller and hit OK.